Yeah, so this is where the gameplay actually starts. Just look at, you can see the actual planet's atmosphere. That's so nice, the little glow there. Just like planet Earth. And uh, just follow the bunny up to these guys here. And hey, let's play hide and seek. Okay! My... Uh, Princess Pussy there is being kidnapped by Bowser, or she is kidnapped by Bowser, but I have time to play games. Uh, uh, okay, fine, let's go cat. Hey, where'd you go? Okay, so now we're searching for bunnies, and I'd recommend the first bunny that you go for is in these bushes over here. There is the first bunny there, and to catch a bunny, all you have to do is walk into it. Um, they're pretty tricky to catch, as you can see. They're very quick. But be persistent, and you shall catch your bunny. Oh, 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 there we go. Yay! Where the heck are you grabbing that bunny, Mario? Look at his right arm. Ah! What have you got to say about the other guys? Hey, what? You're not a bunny. Aw. I knew you should have been in the crater. Wait, in the crater? What crater are you talking about? Is it this crater? I think this is the crater you're talking about. Uh, wait a second. Wasn't there supposed... There was supposed to be a bunny in here. If I'm not mistaken. Huh. I could have swore there was supposed to be a bunny in there. Anyway, you can go in this pipe, too, just by jumping into it. Wait, I hear something. I think there's a, there's a bunny in here. Yes, there is! Okay, but I could have swore there was a bunny in that crater. I could, have be th I could be thinking about something else. Or maybe they appear in order or something like that. Bunny, 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 bunny! Give me bunny! Let's catch bunny! Uh, hey, they, go, go, hey, you! Don't do that! I must catch you. There we go. Stop grabbing the bunny there! That looks painful. It's like you're holding like a bowling ball or something. Uh, in the crater again? Why? What, what the heck? Now? Now should I go in the crater? I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be a bunny in that crater. Now where's the crater? <laughs> oh yeah, as, as you can tell, the game goes in all sorts of directions and stuff like that, and all sorts of... Wait, maybe the other crater is over here that I'm supposed to go in. <laughs> and uh, no, this is just a dark spot. Where the heck's the next bunny? I completely forgot about the intro. So yeah, the... Wait. No, oh, this crater I'm supposed to go in. There we go. Uh, when you fall into certain holes like that around in the overworld, uh, you won't die. Uh, you'll just get, uh, tr te not teleported, floated out of those holes. So yeah, the main gimmick of this game is gravity. You've got uh, gravity in all directions, and you've also got uh, 3D planets that you can walk on in all directions. It is a really brilliant concept that, uh, I don't know if anyone didn't think of it before, or they just didn't have the technology to do it at the time, but it, it's just absolutely amazing. It's one of the most amazing game experiences I have ever played in my life. Can I help Mama? Who's Mama? I don't know who Mama is. I probably know who Mama is because i played this game before, but I'm not telling you just yet. Where'd that come from? That was kind of weird. Um, I guess I could talk to you again if I wanted to. It's it's okay, I guess. I, I, I would like to rescue my, my princess piss pussy friend, but, you know, I, I guess... I could talk to you guys instead. Uh, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Please do as Mama asks. She's not my mama. What are you talking about? Hey, wait, who are you? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, you have? Oh. What did you say the name was again? I, I I was staring at something. Your your name is Rosalina. I'll remember that. My special one. Are you referring to the other pussy? Hello. Oh, uh, could you move out of the way? I'm trying to look at something. Something just below the chin. What the heck was that? A star just went inside me. Yes, I now have the ability to use a spin. What is a spin, you might ask? Well, shake the Wii Remote to find out. Um, I hope I can rescue the Grand Stars too, but I am looking for another goal, if you'd ask me. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting a little creepy now. Alright, thanks for the luck, lady. Now, 
to do your spin attack, you can try it out right away. Just spin like that. Hello there. Yes, hey. Hey, you, she already told me that. You don't have to tell me that twice. Boink. Boink. And yes, you can only spin so and so quickly. You can't just like constantly spin. You can only spin like every one to two seconds or so. Alright. It's time to use the Sling Star. Woo! Through space I go. And perhaps time as well. You never know. What you got to say, Duder? Hi there. And good to see you too. I don't know who you are, but good to see you. And I gotta say, the music in this game is absolutely incredible. Easily the best soundtrack I've ever listened to in any game ever, seriously. Just listen, you just gotta listen to this uh, soundtrack to believe it. Can I? Uh, no, I can't. Oh yeah, to do that ground pound thing, jump and then press the Z button in midair. Like so. And uh, so now we're collecting these star pieces for uh, to, c to create a sling star. This is part of the game's puzzle gimmick, so to speak. But not puzzle gimmicks, exploration gimmicks. And uh, don't fall in these holes there, by the way. In case you can't tell, there's a black hole down there. And that won't be pretty if you know what black holes do. Um, hello, Goomba. Do you have any star pieces? Where the heck's the last star piece? What the heck? And there's a one-up mushroom. If you grab one... That's a one-up. You get one more life, who would have guessed? And uh, I got the last piece. It was evidently behind that thing that I didn't see, which is okay. And now we go over to Sling Star and shake the Wii Remote to activate it. And we go to the next planet and break these for coins if you need them. Coins give you health. Coins for health. <clears throat> As you can see, capitalism is the true health of America. <laughs> <laughs> I should not be getting into politics on my walkthrough, but there you go. Um, so anyway, you've got to kill some Goombas, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, at, at least I thought you were supposed to kill the Goombas. Um, or wasn't I supposed to kill Goombas? Uh, yeah, I, I was supposed to kill Goombas. I was looking for a key. Where's the, where the heck's the Goomba that holds the key, anyway? Goomba key, Goomba key, Goomba key... There you are! How the heck did I miss you? I, I thought I did a full 360 and then somewhere on the planet. Give me my key. And that opens that glass laser-like capsule, or whatever you want to call it there. And then you go talk to this duder here. The planet flips around in front of the camera, which is kind of weird. He'll transform into a sling star. A lot of these critters transform into other uh, objects that help you go forward. Hmm. I wonder if that has anything to do with that bunny concept. Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, I, I already explained that uh, coin thing. Dunk. Yeah, just like that. And there's a giant Goomba in case you can't see there. Yeah! They're still affected by the spin just like any other Goomba, and that one has the key. <laughs> yes, that was the key that you need to get. Um, you can explore the planet a little bit, like uh, grab some star bits and stuff like that. Believe me, by the end of this game, you will need a lot of star bits. No doubt about it. I'm talking about thousands upon thousands of star bits. So, whenever you see a star bit, don't hesitate to grab it with the Wii Remote. Where the heck am I? I completely lost completely lost myself on this planet here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, down here. Okay, I'll go down here. Boink. I'm inside. Woo! It's very steamy. Boy, that planet sure looked a lot more organic on the outside, I gotta say. Besides that pipe. Ooh, what's that? A grand star? Thanks for telling me. Ooh, look at the power. What is it making? I don't know. I don't want to find out. I'll try and find a way to stop it. Ooh, what's this button? Ooh, a button. Button, 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 button. Oh, wait, no, oh, turn off flip switches on the floor, shut down the machine. Ooh, was I doing that all along? I had no idea I was doing the correct thing all along. Come on, I mean, I've never played this game before. Hey, wait, can I touch this thing? I would like to touch that. By the way, in case you can't tell, the very tippy tips of these things are electrocuted. Of these orbiting things. Yeah, so I wouldn't touch those if I were you. Unless you would like to have a shocking ex experience. Har, har, har. Oh, that was a bad pun. And so, once you press all the switches, like I did there, <clears throat> the Grand Star will be revealed to you. Go touch the Grand Star. Woo! Woo! 
And that, my friends, is the first star of the game. I gotta say, I've milked the, the intro quite a bit <laughs> so far. Um, I've really taken my sweet time for those uh, first two parts there. At least I think this is gonna be two parts. Um, because I, I was just pretty much taking the time to explain things, but I can get collect stars pretty dang quick in this game, so don't worry, I'm not really gonna lollygag around like I did on those first two parts. So, as you can see, it just energized part of this odd-looking space station here, which is known as the Observatory, if I'm not mistaken. And, as you can see, it only lights up one portion of the observatory. The rest of the parts <clears throat> stay very, very black. And evidently, that grand star is only worth one star. What a rip-off! <laughs> 